Hey guys, it's Took One Maxwell here, back again with another video um, documenting what is in TW 2016. Obviously, the last time we looked mostly through the big screen, which has basically all your creative management, external, and business options. In this episode, we're really just going to look through the rest of the options and then basically show you how to book an angle and book a match with the little differences that are in this year's compared to previous versions. So, straight away, you've got your company's option, which again, Every company that's in the game, remember this is a mod, so it's uh, all the real life companies. You'll have all the companies that would be in the Carnivalverse with the default database. So what I found was quite cool is say I want to check on TNA. That's cool, I can click on TNA, the usual, you can see the roster, teams, titles, storylines, etc. One thing, as I said, I found quite cool, if I click titles, I can now track the prestige of the TNA Championship, so Trevor Lee's X Division Championship is at 41 prestige. I can check how stuff is going under Drew Galloway at 71. So that's quite a cool feature. Um, really, really quite happy with that. So um, I'll, I'll be using that a lot to monitor how companies are going because I think you can usually see how they are declining if their prestige or title belts are going down or they're on their, their way up if they are improving. So that was quite a cool feature. All your workers, same as normal, you can find them all there. We'll just click on Aja Kong, for example. You can blacklist or shortlist, you can negotiate as always. A few different things, you can obviously save templates for contracts. If you had um, World of Mixed Martial Arts, you know how that's done. Basically just like a default default offer. You want to offer certain people, uh, whether it be like a two-year deal, three-year deal, or various incentives. Can use them, various things like Nostalgia, Backbone of the, pro, uh, the Roster, the Future Main Eventer. You can put in their push and you can put in if they're going to be for events, for events in A shows or events, uh, basically everything bar your house shows. So you can use them in like Superstars Main Event or you can book them for absolutely everything. And of course, you can put travel in, which is a cool new feature uh, in a non compete clause. So that's cool stuff there. Apart from that, you can filter out a few different things now. You can now get them to be exactly a certain popularity. You can also check race and stuff like that. Although if you're going to be using an updated um, database, race and I think there's another one won't be available um, because nobody really knows that that data has been filled in by the game, so it may not be accurate because it's coming from converted mods. So let's say that's pretty similar. Uh, next up, you get your dojos and training skills. Not too many at the moment. Uh, but cool, like see so the Storm Wrestling Academy in this mod, and of course you've got the Performance Center. So I'll just let you know who the trainer is and stuff like that. You can obviously set up dojos. Um, we've already got one in place, so that's cool. So uh, these are the kind of guys that would want to be um, head trainer. I'm happy to stick with Matt Bloom for just now. But cool, we can sell it. Let's see, sell it, and we'd get 380k. So nearly worth selling the Performance Center. For that money, but it is an option down the line. Usual bit for the the alliances. Of course, this will give you a thing about what alliance belts there is, alliance titles. None at the moment, because I say this is obviously newly into a mod. Um, be interesting to see how that works out down the line, and how people integrate it into their saves. Broadcaster, so everything's under this. You can basically negotiate everyone from here, filter out what you what kind of style of show you would like. So it would be pay-per-view would it be commercial or would it be free to air or would it be subscription so free to air to say for example we wanted to do that no networks found at the moment but that may come up uh, further down the line you can have subscription it's one of those things that will probably help better uh, once you're be well into the game i think most of it is going to be their commercial or pay-per-view either your tv channels or your pay-per-view providers and you can check out regional battles and national battles in the game, you can monitor how everywhere is doing, USA, etc. You can see prestige of all companies, their size, product that is quite popular in certain tre uh, certain areas, and the trends in certain areas. You know, people are enjoying uh, Shakira, they're enjoying or Shakara, sorry, they're enjoying Global Force Wrestling. And you can see what stuff they wouldn't be liking. Oh, they're enjoying the WWE and TNA as well. This also helps you monitor where the spillover is. So, say you're going to book in Puerto Rico. You get a bit of spillover to the southeast and various other places. That's a good way to see if you want to spread out the popularity gains or losses, where you will spill over to. And next up, your options tab. 
basically here you've got all your usual options um i just usually put auto save on i disable the multi advance i'll put my new workers usually for the following year start the following year i keep everything else the same apart from restricted areas i just put that off because in all honesty after the amount of folk that have went to wwe in japan uh, and elsewhere i think really is there any restricted areas in this day and age this will also help you change your picture, uh, picture folder as you can see i've moved to the 2016 picture folder that's just what i changed the the, the folder i had usual options here to delete data create mdbs uh, is a nice new feature there the remote assistance if you're into putting in like the cheats like sophie and stuff like that that's all available there um add new player as i say you can edit stuff if you want these are preferences people wonder how i end up with the numbers well you just tick off show stats as grades rather than numbers and still get a hold of the mod which will give me both i don't know if that's going to work in this or i'd have to wait and someone else creating it for 16 i'd need to see uh, the thing is with me joining tw13 in the middle um it being out means a lot of mods were available available to me once i am um, done with this get into the game so um i'll need to see with that but that's all your options there everything for the duck sheet uh, match being broken down is that hidden is that showed you know are you gonna have all your penalties on you're gonna take them off it's up to you it's your game but that's the list of um preset rules that you can put in at the start or you can put in whenever you like and of course you can set stuff like that you can have the standard options you can also have sandbox ewr throwback so if you want to put like ewr back in the day that is everything you need uh, and you've got all our things there as well but with it further ado let's actually process on and show you how to book a show so this we're going to book superstars i'm just going to book one match in one angle to give you an idea of how it looks so usual options um obviously we can't do motivational speeches or that we can cancel the show but we're not going to it'll show us the importance and it'll show us where we're broadcasting today's show we've got a locker room incident which is between steve lombardi the brooklyn brawler and chris jericho they're getting well back, uh, backstage their good mood was infectious and it lifted everyone's spirits so positive there Let's see. Again, when you're at the, the PM screen, the only things you can access are brand split, schedule development, shell companies, broadcasting relationships, alliance, talent trades, investments, resign, and to start our own company. But we can check everything else. I uh, can't check our decisions either, which is up there. So we can book it anywhere in the world. Obviously, I'm going to stick to the US. But what's interesting now is previously, with the mods, all the higher costs would be rounded up not the case so we're in the mid south we have to book uh, 8000 roughly so i'll just book between 8 and 9000 for the arena a few options here we can see that the colorado state fair center has 8225 41200 we change that a wee bit higher and the cost goes up by a thousand so it really depends i'm not really overly fussed where i book it um we'll go with the uh, larardo energy arena so we'll assign you can also use a generic venue you can pick the best venue that the, the game suggests and of course you can check your company size at this particular moment on to the show now you can hire local you can borrow from development i'm going to save it quickly because the last time i did this before the patch borrow from development was broken you can hire from local so where we are you'll see wrestlers that have been assigned the local area so uh we will sign mad braddocks that that guy from the last time from the we are wrestling negotiating a one night deal we want to offer you this 360 dollars for a one night appearance to be a heel make offer and mad braddocks will be on our roster for tonight's shows I'm going to save it again because that's how I'm done. I'm going to try borrow from development. It didn't work previously. Is it going to crash the game? Nope. So we can get down here and we can borrow any wrestler from NXT and give them a debut. Uh, let's have a look. Let's have the perfect 10, Ty Dillinger. Ty Dillinger has been borrowed and has been automatically set as an opener. So again, we've hired Ty Dillinger. So we will have a one on one matchup, uh, which is going to be. With Kofi Kingston, scroll him over, and he's going to face Ty Dillinger. 
I have to remember why Mad Braddox isn't showing up because we haven't given him a, a push yet. So Kofi Kingston gets the win. You can see here the defaulty things is scripted and regular. Now one match on the show has to be storytelling because of the sports entertainment thing we are. So I'll do the victor is Kofi. I always change it to storytelling. I'll probably just when I get into my proper saves just do one match of storytelling, maybe the main event and keep everything else as regular. Apart from that, pinfall finish. As you can see, plenty of options here for your finish, split decision, double count out. You can end storylines now, you can ban certain things in the move in the match. You can unmask, can do stunts, screw jobs. Uh, and not just obviously the, the storytelling, but you've got comedy, technical masterclass. Ice spots, well, bro, everything you saw in the developer diary is a once in a lifetime. So, if you're doing like Undertaker versus Triple H, so it could be a good one where it's like Undertaker and Sting, where you'd previously have gotten a bad rating for that in the, in the past, like because both of them are tired with stamina and stuff. But this is, um, this would probably push their rating way higher than it would be. So, save that. Quickly go to my roster. There should be Mad Braddock's in there. There he is. Because uh, of the picture pack I'm using, it's not a full one, it's uh, Flesh's last mod, so there's a few pictures missing. Well, excuse that for just now, but it'll be something I'll hope to rectify where in match or series I'll have everyday with photos. So just change, push, recommended push, enhancement talent. It's fine, save that, and then we'll just go add match, one versus one. And we will have Ron Strowman, who's a face in this, obviously, because the White family. I just turned on television and he'll face Brad Maddox in two minutes. So again, Strowman the winner. Just make it storytelling. Um pinfall victory. I don't I'll make it decisive as well. Uh, so he gets the victory there. And that's how it's done. Now this one I'm gonna show you two things you can do. People always ask me how I do my angles. I do it nice and simple. Literally, all I do is find an angle or something that's basically the same amount of people in the angle that I would like. So, for example, if I've got Roman Reigns talking to Dean Ambrose backstage, I'll probably just go with a lines formed to my an angle. I will clone the angle. I will go to commentary and then I'll type in, we'll just use Dean Ambrose and Roman Reigns. So, Dean Ambrose and Roman Reigns. Our friends. So save that. I then change the angle and I always add just a random couple of letters to it. Save. So then I know my angle's there. So when I type in Dean Ambrose and Roman Reigns, that angle will happen. It will be the same as that angle should be in game. But the text that you see on your screen for the storyline aspect um, will be what I've typed in there that Dean Ambrose and Roman Reigns are friends. We'll just put them as unscripted. Now something I've never used is freestyle angle. This allows you to invent an angle on the fly. This dispenses with the need to find what, uh, the exact angle you want. But has the disadvantage that the segment will only have generic text for this output. So again, it doesn't really help me for my storyline aspect. But if you want to just create stuff on the fly, you're not like doing a let's put anything. You're just ca casually chilling in a save offline. I definitely try it. So you can do that, and then you've got all your options here. You can book everything on the fly. You can add a title change and everything to it. So it's a good, so it's a good option for people to have. As I say, I won't be particularly using it because, uh, well, I'll maybe use it for the offline stuff, but the online stuff, obviously, I need the, the text, and and that's not available. But so you can rate it on everything there. You know, you can add in pluses, basically creating your own angle from complete scratch. The only other thing that's a bit different, and I would say it's a bit annoying for me, because I book my main events first, is your main event goes to the top, now the opener goes to the bottom, and if you book something, it instantly goes to the top. So I would have had Kofi versus Ty's main event. I'd have to move that, which isn't too bad when it's three segments. But if you're booking about 30 segments at WrestleMania, you know your main event, and you're booking everything else around that, it's a little bit annoying. But apart from that, everything I've done so far is good. The way it runs during the show is exactly the same. You'll have a little bit at the end saying how many fans are in attendance, how many viewers watched. Pretty much everything you see in this screen here, plus your little feedback. I'll add little things like, did you have enough females in the show? 
if your crowd expects a certain amount of females per male athletes. But that's pretty much it. You know, it's uh, it's interesting. I don't want to dive too much into it because I'm really looking forward to um, proper series starting next week. As I say, Tuesday we may have the first episode up. It just depends how quickly I can get storylines planned and everything booked. Uh, and obviously folks signed because TNA is something you kind of need to get it right. If you sign too many, you could put the company out of business. And as I say, I'll be doing a WWE save as well, but that will only be going online for uh, pay-per-views or large events, as I'm hoping to just have that as a fun offline save. I say thank you for watching, guys. If you enjoyed it, drop the old thumbs up. If you get any queries on TW2016, let me know. Ask any questions. I'll try and get back to you, try and give you some good answers. Uh, if not, definitely check out the Grey Dog forums. That's where you can get the link to the demo. Try it out. It's free. If you need any help, try to get the converted database. I'll try my best to help you. As I say, the full game launches on the 2nd of May. As always, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you all real soon. Bye-bye.